Okay, guys, so I got some uh, good news for you, and I got some bad news. The good news is, uh, well, let me bring this document over. The good news is, uh, I, this glue they used to put the uh, vessel together. Oh, wrong, wrong dock. Hold on. Where'd you go, little sweetie? You little sweet little bastard, you. Where are you? Um, hold on, hopefully it's still highlighted. Yep, there we go. So, the, uh, the good news and the bad news. The good news is, it's another way of failure. The bad news is, oh my gosh, I've already spent hours today to make you guys a video. I mean, hours. And it, it included this. And, oh my gosh, I'm so exhausted. So the bad news is you won't get another video for a while. I need to rest for a second. It's a lot of data to consume, process, but I'll give you this one. Is that in the document title, which you see, end gluing. They use a glue down here and to tell you what to do with it, how to do it. But they use the glue right there. The EA9394 adhesive. This glue, <coughs> excuse me, this glue is 100% the wrong glue. To be, to be touching off on titanium. What happens is it becomes, uh, this glue becomes an anode. And the titanium is much higher on the scale than this aluminum-based, it's aluminum-based adhesive. And so it deteriorates on its own. Now keep in mind, once it's down there below, in the, in the, deep, in the, deep, in the deep pressures, the end caps is just just being pressed together, so I don't see it as an issue. But I don't know how what how it deteriorates, um, how it deteriorates against carbon fiber. Um, it's it's not. It's 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 this is ridiculous. I did talk to the manufacturer incidentally, and we had some banter. This manufacturer expert, we had some banter and. Um, yeah, wrong, wrong glue. I did not disclose where it was going to, to titanium, uh, to the, uh, to the, uh, this vessel. I didn't want to disclose that because it might make them bias. So I didn't want to give that up. Just, uh, uh, just a question about the adhesive product and, um, how it would behave with the titanium and carbon fiber combination. This, this was something that she had full knowledge of. And she said no, she recommended another product. She did not recommend this product. All right. So, and I said, oh, it's aluminum bay. When we said, what's it bay? What's, what's in, we got into that. I'll record it. I had it recorded it, so I'll be able to give you a snippet. Um, but not in this video. I'll put it in the next video. So the, uh, it's aluminum bay. So on a scale, let me show you what this looks like. So this is the. Uh, high salt EA9394. So what I'm bringing up, and you can bring up for yourself, it's, it's a noble scale, N-O-B-E-L, it's like it sounds. And as you look at the scale, at the uh, very top, this is number one, it's going to be the one that's more sacrificial, be magnesium. Below that is zinc. Zinc is the same thing you have in your uh, hot water heater. It's, it's a zinc. Most of us hot water heaters. A zinc sacrificial anode. All right. Below that is beryllium, and below that is aluminum alloy. Now, though, everything above those numbers, the closer you are to them, the least reactive they are. So if I would have mixed um, mild steel and cadmium together, I'd be, it'd be least reactive. But if I would have mixed mild steel and, say, down and further down, silicon bronze together, It'll be more reactive, and the one that's below is the one that fails first. So the cadmium, let's see, the magnesium bronze, would stick around longer than, the, um, than anything below it, such as the uh, cadmium, the aluminum. It, the, those things below would rot out. So as you look at the top of the scale, which is the bottom of this page, you see the graphite, platinum, gold, and then titanium. So if you were going to, um, anything... Um, Next to those, like gold and titanium, would be little, little reaction. Gold and platinum, little reaction. But titanium is, is up there at number 35. 
and on this scale and on number four is aluminum so they're extremely far apart so this means that when they come in contact that is the um, this adhesive and the titanium the adhesive is sacrificial to the titanium it doesn't eat the titanium up but the reaction is that the, the adhesive starts to break down uh, the aluminum in it starts to be reactive it's it's the sacrificial one so he has samples the uh the um then this guy the material expert has samples of it so i guess he could zoom in and to see if there was a reaction on the back side to see how it's reacting uh with the titanium so there we have uh, another form another form for it to fail another way for it to break apart Hey Max, how you doing? So Max just showed up. Hey Max. So look, in the background, you're going to hear my um, <clears throat> conversation with the, uh, the 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 people with the Heisel, which is also Loctite. <clears throat> L-O-C-T-I-T. This is the same product. Now listen to how I asked the question. I'm going to use it with the um, carbon fiber and metal. I don't describe what kind of metal, just metal. And listen to our conversation. Here it comes now. Oh, I, I muted out the uh, contact information, so um, here we go. Um, EA9394, Arrow. And, yeah. and that's the same product. That's the same product, the high sole here. I'm looking forward to use with, uh, I'm looking forward to use with some, with uh, metal and carbon fiber connections. Um, is that possible? Now pause it for a second. Listen, she's going to jump right into... She knows this how fast she is. No thoughts, no humming, just boom, real quick. So 9394 is a really good structural adhesive and it's also can be used as a shim material. Um, the only problem with using it with carbon is that if you have galvanic uh, corrosion possibilities. If so as soon as she said galvanic, then I knew that what we're talking about here and I knew, I knew where we were going, that there is going to be a reaction because the titanium, I knew off the bat, is very high on a scale. I just showed you the scale. So I'm like, shit, this thing better be high. It may be made of gold almost, which, it, which we get right to, in, right to in just a second. If you do, then you want to use 9395, which has the same base resin, but it's not aluminum filled. It's uh, silica filled. Not aluminum. Oh, it's silica. Oh, so this is aluminum in it, so it's creating the galvanic reaction uh, because it's aluminum. Yes. Yes, I see now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it... it, it, it so 93, it, 95 has the same properties ish, mm -hmm. really close, but it, yeah, it, it's uh, silicon though. So if I were to, so again, just for my clarification of it, so the because it's got the aluminum in it, it becomes, it's low on the uh, noble scale, so it becomes the uh, sacrificial anode. The, mm -hmm. the yes. yes. So I, I don't know if it does have galvanic, but I said people who are worried about it do not use it yet. Because it's, because it's aluminum based. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and I'll look into that. All right. So we did, we did have a few more moments of conversation, but I want to show you that wrong adhesive. This thing is just and and I wish I could go switch to my camera mode. So you can see that. That video there took me three hours and forty minutes, three hours, forty minutes and fifty-four seconds to make, and I've not, you know, it's long, it's long. You guys thought it was a twenty-minute video? I'd have to, I'd have to say this is one of my uh, sixty-minute videos, which means three times as long, or more. So it's just too long. I don't, I don't know what to do with this video. It's my thought process, and I only went through one of the documents, not this one that we're looking at here only one of the documents i'm sorry and, and, I, and I, I touched off on this one once i realized i knew what adhesive they were using because uh, someone sent me a message saying here's a adhesive you've been looking for all right the other thing is uh uh yeah so i know how to locate the, the vessel now we can nix that 29 mile deal my subsea guy got hold of me um and he gave me the coordinates and he said they're, they're pretty close with to pretty close uh, the, he did the coordinates and he showed me how to break it down with the sub C. How uh, the uh, and I don't I don't want to give away the the uh, proprietary technique, but he showed me, he told me how to break it down. So I'll I'll, I'll give you those coordinates. Uh, we'll redo them, but yeah, they're they're right there. 
Um, so the uh, back to this wrong product. So it has a galvanic reaction. Uh, really? So I want you to do your own little look up. But look at this. When aluminum comes in contact with carbon fiber, a galvanic, a galvanic, gal, yeah, sorry guys, my eyes are burned. A galvanic, uh, galvanic uh, corrosion reaction can occur, meaning the aluminum will corrode faster due to the electrical potential difference between the two materials. So on one side, we got it reacting with the aluminum high on the scale, and then we have it acting with the carbon fiber on the opposite. So it was just, it was just, it's just a fuck show. You know, this is just craziness. You know, I want to talk to you guys about the concrete and rebar and all that, the mating, the marriage and all. Well, this is like a divorce attorney between the marriage of the of the uh, uh, the carbon fiber and the titanium. It was like having a, a divorce attorney right between the marriage, just right there, just trying to break them up all the time. So one side is breaking up the male side, other side is breaking up the female side, just breaking up both of them at the same time. This is so wrong that, you know, it's just so wrong. And I, I don't know, as I said at the end of my video here, I, I don't know how much energy I should spend on this anymore. I can't find the, where, I can't find where, you know, the one thing that he did right. That, you know, yeah, okay, you can glue the ends. Wrong glue. All right, all right. You know, it's like... So who made this decision? And should they, you know, should they be culpable? Should they, who made the decision to buy this glue? To purchase this glue? And where did they purchase it from? Remember my story about the glue? Yeah, for clarity, epoxy, okay? Glue, epoxy, paste, whatever you want to call it. So it looks like I can show you. So let's look at this thing. This video is three hours. Where are you? Three hours, 40 minutes long. Look, let me back up it, back it up to here a bit so you can hear that con voice contact. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta pause it and bring it back in. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Um, EA nine three nine four arrow. I'm looking forward to use with uh, I'm looking forward to use with some, with uh, metal and carbon fiber connections. Um, is that possible? So ninety three ninety four is a really good structural adhesive, and it's also can be used as a shim material. Um, the only problem with using it with carbon is that if you have galvanic uh, corrosion possibilities, if, mm. if you do, then you want to use 9395, which has the same base resin, but it's not aluminum filled, it's uh, silica filled. Oh, so, so I want you guys to see that I spent three hours on this. Let me tell you, I hit everything for you here. This is only one video. This is only one video where I go over one document just one of their documents so i go over showing you relating it to the submersible and this is that document there just one all right including the uh the the, the, the it, it's just amazing the amount of time i put there and I, I thought it would be an hour and a half and next thing you know i'm gone it's pissed I'm, I'm just pissed off um an hour and 30. it's very interesting how heavy it is at the top now i can't help but think that the uh Coast Guard did me a solid because the very first document is what I was looking for is the, um, hold on. The very, very first document they have in their new, in their new release has the, the buoyancy issue I was worried about. What happens if the back end falls off and what's the buoyancy of it, of the rest of the hull? So they, here's some charts here from 2018. And my gosh, it's beautiful the, the 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 way it acts. And as you can see, the sub uh, very aft heavy, twenty degrees uh, degree tilt. Um, that's interesting. That brought up to something. Uh, the uh, and then it it does progress. They also give away the um, the navigation system that they used on here. 
it's a long video, but it tells the navigation they use, what type of they use for triangulation of the vessel. Um, so that's great. Um, but now I have a different way of that. That's that data is nice, but I don't need it anymore. I have uh, I do I'll use it to go back to the mapping, but I trust the mapping now, and I I have a inside source that I, why I can trust the mapping. All right, just just go with me on that. That I can trust the mapping that they did. Uh, via my inside source and I won't give up so that's, that's just a waste of time you can't subpoena me anybody don't worry about that it's not going to happen I consider this newsworthy I consider what I'm doing is news so I'll, I'll take protection on the first amendment and you can't threaten me with locking me up because I don't give a shit all right I don't give a shit all right let's go on about that so in fairness it makes it very clear in red do not expose reinforced fibers Expose reinforced fibers. So I don't know what they mean by that. How can you not expose the reinforced fibers? You're just going to touch off on epoxy only. So how does this work against epoxy? But nevertheless, um, it's in there. It's in there. So how, what was the prep? What was the prep? Now you got know something else to can bond break from, if they do really did it that way. But this is the product they used, and it is. It has a high galvanic reaction which I showed you in the uh, clip there. All right, I'm exhausted, like I said. I, t I made a three hour and 50 minute video. I don't know what to do with it. Put it in a private room or publish it, guys. That's a long video. Editing will take me longer. I gotta watch the whole thing over again and edit it and delete little things. And so what do I do? Do I publish that for you guys? Do you wanna see the one, just one document? It goes down a three hour and 50 minute rabbit hole. My gosh, I need a life. All right, so, um, but I'm just bringing that to your attention. This glue is wrong per manufacturer. All right, love you guys. Thank you. Oh, and thanks for the cat love, really. You know, it's awesome. You guys sending packages, a couple of packages there, and, and your donations for the cat love. And I like that one person started uh, helping out a cat after watching the content. At least that's what I think the person is saying, the lady. That she now, you know, likes how the cat rewards her with coming up to her and saying, hey, how about my food now? Yeah, that's it's so awesome. And they're so, uh, all they do is give love, all right? They don't give, uh, you know, all they do is love. They're not like a person that can stab you in the back. Um, your only stab in the back is when they die naturally, and, that, and that's very painful. But you won't get it. You'll, you'll get this love for the rest of it. Take care. Love you guys. Bye. And, oh, for clarity again, don't send me any money. Any money you send to me goes to the, goes to the kitty cats. Only. I don't need any money. Just you're sending it to the cats, the care of the cats. And now apparently we've got a possum. Now we're out to three outdoor cats, quite a few inside, right? And a fox and two raccoons. The possum is cute as hell. You should, I, I have to post a video of you guys uh, showing him climbing in and out of the bowl. All right. Thank you. Love you.